What is going on guys? It is Dinosaurs here and today I'm going to be giving you all a brief overview of all of the DLC characters that have been released so far. There will be timestamps down in the description so you can click around so you can hear my thoughts on each one of the characters that you want to hear about and there will also be a link to any videos I have made for each of the characters being reviewed. So first up is Lobo. Being the first DLC character, he had a lot to live up to, and I would honestly say he did. Now, he isn't the best character in the game, but he has fun gameplay mechanics that we hadn't seen in characters before him. With a $5 price tag, I believe he is one of the most worth it characters in the game. With that said, I give Lobo 9 dinos out of 10. Second is Batgirl. When she was announced, she received a lot of fan outcry against her being in the game, and rightly so. She had a pretty bad costume comparatively to what we've seen her in recent memory, and she was yet another Batman character to add to the already large laundry list of Batman characters. Although she did have a moveset that people enjoyed, I personally did not, leaving me at the conclusion of 6 dinos out of 10. The third character to make an entrance into Injustice as a DLC character was a guest character. Scorpion, much to my dismay, when I found out Scorpion was going to be a DLC character, I was extremely angry at the developers for giving us a DLC character that wasn't even a DC character. After giving him his fair share of gameplay time, I can safely say he is a great character in terms of gameplay, but falls short when it comes to potential. I mean, think about it. We could have had Martian Manhunter instead of this guy, but I will give him his fair rating at 8 dinos out of 10. Last but most certainly not least is General Zod. This character was another that most people were not happy about. Even though there isn't a huge amount of Superman characters in this game, it was very clear that he was being forced down our throats because of the recent Man of Steel movie. But even though he wasn't my first pick for DLC, he turned out pretty great in terms of gameplay, which in my book made up for the costume and the fact that we were being force fed like children. With all that said, I give General Zod 10 dinos out of 10. But what are your opinions on the DLC characters for the first season pass? Let me know down in the comments section what you thought of their gameplay, their costumes, and whatever else you want to tell me about the DLC characters in Injustice. This isn't what we signed up for. I let myself believe we were making things better. But we're not. What say we have one last dance? 